Okay, so for my character, I'm going to use my creature. For my setting, I think I'm going to use just a blank, a flat color. I'm going to do a blank, you know, warm colored setting to prove for the environment of it. And for the illusion of time passing with sequential images, what's the transformation? I'm going to show my creature. It can be helpful just to write it out for yourself so you know what you're trying to do. Show my creature cracking like an egg, inspired by Terry Gilliam's animations, and birthing a smaller version of the creature inside or a smaller version of itself. Okay, so now this is my story. This is my concept. I'm going to show the creature cracking like an egg and birthing a smaller version of itself. What's nice about that is it automatically sets to reset, right? So I start with the creature. This is what's called an introduction frame. So I'm going to say int, I'm going to introduce my character, and it's just going to be there. It's going to draw my character. Here he is with his duck bill and his shell and his tail. Ooh, there he is. Okay. Then, as it moves through, in the first beginning, I want to show this creature move. So I'm going to show it in a different pose here. It'll be fun to show you how you can do that using Puppet Warp. And harden. So I'm going to describe the actions that happen. So not only is it going to move, but it's going to visibly start to harden. And I'm going to probably desaturate the colors, maybe give it a texture that's a little bit more like an eggshell, so that by the end, the creature's bill is going to be kind of up in the air. And it's going to look hardened like an egg. So I'm going to just describe it hard shell. So now for the middle, this transition, the creature is going to start to split open or crack. So a seam is going to build running down the length of this creature in this frozen position. And I can describe it, crack forms. And then by the center of my animation, this is the turning point, it's going to crack all the way through and maybe even just start to open up at the top. starts to open. Opens more. You see how the setting doesn't really matter much for this. It can be in a nest, it could be on a hillside, it could have waves crashing behind it, but the animation is all through the character here. That's just how I'm doing it this semester. We're going to show that that shell of the creature kind of opening more. And then maybe parts fall away. Start to crack off or fly away so they're out of the frame fall slash fly away. And what is revealed? A little mini version of the creature. 
So this is a new introduction. Introduce new character inside the old. So here's the shell. Here's the new character. And then by the end, that new character starts to grow to be as large as it is in the first frame. And you can use arrows, they're very helpful in storyboards. Okay, so I've made really simple sketches. I understand how the transformation happens beginning, middle to end. And I'm thinking, does it make sense? Just if this was a comic book of my transformation, does it tell the story that I'm trying to tell? Does it show the creature cracking like an egg and birthing a smaller version of itself? And that's what's due by next class for you to think about and sketch through. And then we'll start to identify what elements are needed. And I'm going to make it pretty simple because I'm just going to use a blank, warm background. I'm not even going to put it in my Arctic setting. I'm just going to keep it very straightforward. So I'm going to call this video sketching for your animation. And I'm going to keep it short. 